All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the difference between extends versus implements in Java. And uh, they're pretty similar in a lot of ways, but they fundamentally work very differently. Uh, what, what they both do, though, is kind of try to share code between uh, classes, and more specifically, they try to share behavior. Um, because in interfaces, you're not actually probably gonna share code unless you're using the new Java 8 interfaces. So let's talk about a class called Animal and then we're going to talk about a class called cat so animal is just going to be a base class which is what we're going to try to inherit behavior and code from and we're going to say all animals have a weight and age and a name and i have just generated getters and setters here and when we take this cat the way we're going to extend the behavior we're going to we're going to copy all of the behavior from animal i'm going to say extends animal class right and now when I implement cat, I can go and implement a cat. So here's the cat, new cat. And then I can say cat.setAge to be five, uh, cat.setName to be, sure, uh, let's, let's call it mittens. Uh, and then um, cat.setWeight as I'm not sure how, how much a cat weighs. Let's say four pounds. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Cat dot set weight. Whoops. Uh, and then I'm going to assist this out. And then the, the one thing I want to do here is I want to um, uh, generate, and I'm not sure if Eclipse will do this correctly, uh, generate a two string. Yeah, we'll do it on inherited methods. There we go. It'll say it'll call get weight, get age, get name. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's run this now. Give this a run. Right. So cat get weight is four. Get yeah right. So everything looks good. That is the uh, the cat. Um, now let's think about a dog. And then I'm gonna change. I'm gonna do a different um, thing here. Instead of extending a class, I'm gonna create an interface called animal. So I'll say new interface. And I'll call it I animal, just because a lot of people will do this where they'll say they'll put an I in front of interfaces. I kind of like that. Um, and then what an interface does is it defines a contract of methods you have to implement. So I'll say uh, uh, let's let's call it a string um, get name, right? And then we'll say string uh, get uh, whoops, it's not a string double get age and then we'll say a double um, uh, let's say let's say uh, get weight now if we take the dog and we implement and again this is the difference here it's not extend it's implement we're gonna implement the interface I animal now dog's going to be unhappy because we are going to need to implement these methods. We need to implement get name, get age, and get weight. So I'm going to implement these methods. And then now that doesn't make any sense because all they do is return null. What you really need to do is grab all of these because a dog, it's extending the interface animal. And the animal, it defines a contract you have to meet. It doesn't actually give you any code. So now I'm, if I want to kind of get the same behavior, I need it to return the name. I need it to return the age. And then I need this to return the weight. And so now we have these getters. Uh, let's actually implement some setters. Let's generate some... Um, uh, source generates getters and setters um, and we just want set we want the setters here okay so the dog it'll work very similarly it, it's just fundamentally different in that now we had to implement our own get name get age and get weight uh, we didn't extend them but we still met the same contract so both the animal the animal and the I animal, they both have the same kind of uh, methods. 
uh, we just made sure that they got implemented. Uh, it's it's just a little bit different, but you can see it's going to work pretty similarly. I'm going to make a make the dog have a two string on it. Uh, let's do generate a two string. There we go. That's fine. Uh, and then I'll do the same thing with the dog. Uh, it'll be a dog. We'll say. I'm just gonna say dog dot set age is four uh, dog dot set name Fido dog dot set weight is uh, dogs are bigger right ten pounds all right and then I can CISO on that dog and it's gonna essentially work the same like you've still got this weight and age and name. Um, but now we can access it directly in dog because we had to implement it directly in dog, right? Whereas animal, that's where it's actually implemented and cat doesn't have any of this stuff except for the two string. So the, the extension system, there's one more big difference between extends and implements. Uh, extends, you can only extend one thing at a time. Now implements is cool, you can, you can um, implement multiple things. So there are things in Java that are really common like serializable. Uh, you can implement that and you can implement um, let's say like comparable so these are really common things that you can and you'll compare a dog to a dog uh, and then it'll yell at you because there's of course methods you need to implement so we need to add the unimplemented methods and then there you go you made that interface happy so the big difference is extends actually shares code implements just shares contracts uh, of behaviors you need to meet so Anyway, that's it. Uh, that's it for this versus video. Um, like or subscribe, etc. Thanks for watching.